Glad you came back for another night. I promise it'll be a lot more interesting this time. We found some, some great new relics over the weekend, and we're out tracking down a new lead right now. So uh, let me just update you real quick, then you can get to work. Like the attraction opens in like a week, so we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you and past you out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as the security guard. So not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out in the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always nice, and a foxy head which we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. And we found a desk fan, very old school, metal though. Watch the fingers. Uh, <laughs> uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. Uh, I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, we don't have something really cool by next week, so we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, boo. <laughs> uh, but you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings says it was like an extra room that got boarded up or something like that. So we're going to take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, Hello? For now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cams. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that may go offline. <laughs> so in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. Yeah, I wasn't joking about the fire. That, that, that's a real risk. Uh, the most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spokesman, and if you let that ventilation go offline, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night.
Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh no, it looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You must be as precise as possible when removing the eyes from their respective sockets. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh no, it looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune. Great job. Deposit the left eye in the cleaning receptacle on your left. Well done. Now, firmly grip Bonnie's right eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Deposit the right eye in the cleaning receptacle on your... Good job. To open Bonnie's faceplate, Carefully press the two buttons located on either side of Bonnie's jaw. When done correctly, you should hear two small clicks. Well done. You now have access to Bonnie's harmonization module. Press the blinking button inside Bonnie's secondary throat pipe to enter calibration mode. Something is not right. One of those notes is out of tune. You may push the button again to replay the audio check. Press the colored button that corresponds to the incorrect note. Press the blinking button again to verify your work. Are you having fun yet? That's great to hear.
provide you with much needed information on how to handle slash climb into slash climb out of mascot costumes. Right now we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suit. So please pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits as accidents slash injuries slash death slash irreparable and grotesque maiming can occur. First, we'll discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn and walk toward sound key. It's Hello. It's easy and hands-free approach to making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum value. <laughs> to change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic parts around Hi. the sides of the suit, providing room to climb inside. Please make sure the spring locks are fastened tight to ensure the animatronic devices remain fixed. We will cover this in more detail in tomorrow's session. Remember to smile. You are the face of the Fazbear Pizza.
Hello? Can you hear me? Don't exit this room, okay? This isn't a mistake. This room isn't a mistake. I had to hide these logs away from the core gameplay files in a place that only a beta tester would...